Hi, um, my name's Elsie Rowe. Real fast, before you guys go into this video, please know that just like the previous video, uh, previous chapter, I should say, this video does contain a panic attack, it does contain a character who's going through a panic attack, and another character who isn't handling it well. So it is a bit more intense. If you don't feel like you're in the headspace for that, or if you just that's not a content you want to look at, completely okay. If you want a brief summary, check down the description, or you can just skip to the next next chapter. That'd be okay. Or I have other stuff on my channel. No worries, it's okay. But either way, fair warning, there isn't anything super explicitly said. Just a lot of big mind racing thoughts. And also there are some techniques shown, or at least described in the story that can help with panic attacks. For more information about that, go watch the end of my video. I'm not an expert in this stuff. I'm just sharing what's helped me before. Well, if you guys still want to watch the comic, it's not super crazy. I just like to warn just in case. But hey, I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you at the end of the video. Scott stepped in closer to the trembling bear. Scott was racking his brain. What to do, what to do, what to do? Goldie? He asked. He grabbed Golden's paws. Golden then squeezed his eyes shut. He shook his head. Goldie? Scott tried again. Goldie shook his head back and forth again and again. He couldn't stop the shaking. This was too much. It was far too much. Why wasn't he go why wasn't he happy? Golden should be happy. He should be grateful. Why wasn't he? He just couldn't. He couldn't. Golden's mind was stuck on this rattling loop. And seeing Golden so lost was starting to scare Scott. Goldie! He cried. Scott's magic shot out around him. He needed to bring Golden back. He Inhale, exhale. <sighs> Yelling at Golden wasn't bringing him back, nor was Scott losing his own head. <sighs> okay, okay, Scott said, both to Goldie and to himself. He rested his forehead on the yellow bears. He closed his eyes and whispered, hold on to me. He loosened his grip and rubbed his thumbs over Golden's knuckles. Scott could hear Golden's rapid breathing. <sighs> Model for him, show, show how it's done, Scott, Scott repeated. Breathe and center. Breathe and center. Goldie didn't need shouting or magic. What did he need? Scott was not completely sure. So he drew on what had helped Isaac when he'd had these moments. It seemed to be working. Golden's shoulders did slump, but his shaking had subsided. Then Golden shakily took Scott's hands in his own paws. Golden's mind had been trapped in that loop of how he couldn't do this. Holding Scott's hands had steadied him. His mind was still spinning, but he forced himself to focus on the breathing. Scott was steady. Golden needed more of that. He fixated on it. Golden took a shaky step forward. Then he wrapped his arms around Scott. Golden held on tight. Scott enclosed his arms around the trembling bear. Scott gently rubbed circles into Golden's back. Inhale. Exhale. They could do this. That's it, he said. Scott felt his heart relax with Golden in his arms. Holding him brought Scott back down to earth. Golden squeezed Scott. His shaking had softened, yes, but now Golden had started to sway. His body must have been fried from this whole thing. Come on, 
Let's sit, Scott whispered gently, and in reply, Goldie simply nodded. Hey, my lovely cupcakes, Elsie Rowe here, and welcome back to our lovely show. So we are back, we are on chapter 14 of Time to Talk. This, oh my goodness gracious. So this is our panic attack episode where Golden has just, a, is stuck. His mind is reeling, he's not doing okay. And I'm just like, oh my goodness, why did I put my boy through this? Golden is my favorite character. I feel so bad doing this. But, oh, shush your face, you are fine. My baby's a little cranky with me. But I got, it's been really fun getting to explore Scott's more um, parental side. Because just like in the last chapter, Scott was able to kind of connect the dots a little bit between Isaac and Golden. That's one of the main reasons why he picked up that Golden was having a panic attack was because he was exhibiting the same like triggers, warning signs as Isaac was. Not all panic attacks are like that. Scott was just kind of lucky and I just wrote it that way where those two characters lined up. <laughs> but in this one, Golden is not doing good. Scott's trying his best and he's, he gets better. It's just Ragnus. I was like, Scott. My baby boy, my baby boy. But hey, I do want to share with you guys a fun little, I want to say PSA, but I don't actually know what that means. A little fun fact about the techniques that Scott actually used in this chapter to help Golden. So he used two different ones. One was modeling for breathing exercises. Usually it's better to kind of say, hey, breathe with me, breathe out. Me as the narrator, I kind of did that with you guys a little bit to help Scott relax in that story sense. But Scott's using modeling. So in a sense where he's like, okay, I'm breathing like this. I need you to breathe like this with me. Is kind of what he was doing with Golden. If the animatronics can breathe, I don't know. I'm kind of leaving that as an open door. In this sense, yes, because he's having a panic attack and why not? We're having fun with it. The other technique that Scott uses is grounding through touch. So um, one of the things that help with a panic attack is activate your senses. What can you smell? What can you taste? What can you touch? What can you hear? Different things like that. What can you see is another one. So for Scott, he's like, and he's already grabbed Golden because he's freaking out. So he's like, okay, hold on to me. So that touch is helping ground Golden. So that's another technique that can help with panic attacks. You don't have to physically touch another person or hold someone's hand. Also ask before you touch anyone, please. All the time, just in case, just, just in case. <laughs> but you can also touch different things. Like you can touch a pillow, you can touch a plushie, or um, here, actually I'll show you guys. Or you can have a fidget. <laughs> so this is a fidget that I got uh, about a year ago now. And he is, an, he is a 3D printed alligator. And when I'm getting really stressed, one of the things I'll do is I'll just kind of play with him. Hey, there you go. Just cause like, he's a little funny dude. And he is, and the noise kind of keeps me calm. Mwah. And also I'm lucky where my baby is like, hey, you said stress, I'm gonna come over here. <laughs> Hi, I'm okay. But like touching this different texture helps me feel good. And that just kind of helps me out. So yeah, so those are two techniques that actually can help with panic attacks. They won't always make them go away. And even the way the comic ends, Golden's panic attack is still not done. I, in the next chapter, I kind of explained that a little bit, but either way, it's just fun fact, you know? Well, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this lovely episode of our show. There is much more to come. I will see you all next time on our lovely show. Bye. <laughs>